So guys, it's rumour roundup time again. This year on October the 27th, Apple have got their event where they could be releasing some cool stuff. And in this video I'm just going to talk about what they could be releasing and what's most likely to be released. I'm also live streaming the event on my vlogging channel a couple hours before. Subscribe to my vlogging channel down below if you'd like to. And you can come hang out and watch the event and we can chat about stuff. If you'd like to do that, the link will be down below. I'll start streaming three or four hours before the event properly. So what's the most likely thing to come out of tomorrow's event? The most likely thing is new MacBook Pros. Because they need a refresh. There's a lot of cool stuff they could add to the MacBooks. They're still going to be the 13 and the 15 inch models. But they're going to be streaked and slimlined down. So they look a bit like the 12 inch MacBook which is currently available. Which looks super super thin, super super lightweight and super super cool. The new MacBook Pros may look like that. They're also meant to have like 50% wider trackpads with force touch built in which is kind of cool. Because on my laptop I use all my vlog editing. The trackpad on was like tiny and my fingers struggle to like move a mouse around quite quickly. Like when I, when I want to close a tab or could I get something I almost have to use like two hands. But with wider trackpads that issue will be gone. And it will be like a little iPhone on the bottom of your keyboard. Well, the size of like maybe an iPhone screen, that would be awesome, but just a bigger trackpad would be great. And there's maybe going to be four USB Type-C ports on the MacBook 12 inch, which is the only MacBook that has USB T, which is the only MacBook that has USB Type-C ports on it, has one USB Type-C port and a headphone jack, but if there's four of them, you can charge a laptop, you can like plug in an SD card or an adapter, and you can plug in a USB stick and charge your phone but now you can either charge it or be like having a USB in it so you can't charge and like transfer files and do stuff like that um, the iPhone 7 um, you can't charge and listen to music so they're going back from out of the MacBooks that's cool and this one of my most favourite features which I really do hope they implement is a OLED panel at the top of a keyboard this means that apps can put like, their menus at the bottom, like my Photoshop menu I use on my Mac is like really cluttered. If that could be just displayed on a little trackpad with my keyboard, that would be awesome and easier to reach and easier to know where stuff is. And a good like render I've seen of this is actually like Spotify on my OLED panel. So you can like swap tracks easily without having to go back into your internet browser and things like that. It's got its uses, but I'm sure it's also got some downsides, which you have to find out and see if it's actually reality. Now let's look at the MacBook Air. It's meant to have a minor refresh, there's a couple specs maybe. Maybe a base 8GB of RAM version, that's been predicted. But I believe it may also have a USB Type-C port on it, to keep with Apple's direction they're currently going in. That'd be cool, I personally haven't really taken on USB Type-C yet in any of my devices, so it's not much of a use to me and many people. But once USB Type-C gets out to everyone, it will have some cool uses, especially for MacBooks. Okay, this stuff now may happen in the event tomorrow. There may be a 5K monitor, which would look quite cool with an iMac or a Mac Pro. That'd be awesome. So the new 5K iMac, if you have one of those, you may be able to get a secondary monitor, which is also 5K. And there may be a refresh of a Mac Pro line. The last time it got released was 2013, so it is in date for a refresh. If there's any future Mac Pro users, you could get some upgraded specs. And there's meant to be an update to the Mac Mini. The Mac Mini has been updated for a while and nobody really used it. I know Anna from Tech Hut, she uses the Mac Mini. But like, in the world of tech and stuff online and normal people, we don't normally use it because it's in the middle of like a low class laptop and a desktop. So there isn't much use for it. But that's meant to be upgraded with a few specs. So it can perform more like a desktop and less like a notebook, that'd be cool. So guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, because it's a bit of a different video, I just talked about the latest rumours from Apple, well not from Apple, from sources, then hit this video with a like rating and click subscribe if you're new. And if you didn't hear already, definitely go and check out my vlogging channel because I'm live streaming the whole event. The only reason I'm live streaming is because we can just chat on it, because there's a chat you know, on YouTube Live. So we can just talk about the event and if you guys don't know any features and stuff, tune in a couple hours before and we can talk about more rumours because I'm sure more stuff will be released tomorrow before the event, rumour wise. Okay, thank you very much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys on Friday with a new video. Have a great end to your week. Oh.